the bottom of the heel has to be exactly lined up with the bottom of the sole in order for that shank to stay in the right place. As long as that shank is in the right place, it will support a lot of your body weight onto the back of the foot. People frequently complain that in a shoe, they get a lot of pressure under the ball of the foot, a tired, sore spot. I see lots of people in the, fact, in the uh, course of custom fitting boots that actually have callousing on this part of the foot from improper weight distribution. We make sure that the bottom assembly is lined up correctly so that when you're standing in the boot, your weight is distributed evenly. There's a very strong steel shank in the arch of our boot, and the reason for that is to support the foot. Something like a third of the labor that goes into the making of this boot is right there because that's such a critical part of the construction and of the comfort. You can see the cutaway view here of the steel shank. This is the steel shank. It's a ribbed tempered steel shank. And the reason for the tempering is so that you have some spring. For instance, if you uh, pick up a heavy object, it puts more weight on your arch and the arch springs down out of the way. You take the heavy weight off and uh, the arch comes back up where it's supposed to be. The most important part is the heel. We build our own heels and we build them up one layer at a time because the heel is the critical component in the supporting of the shank and the shank is the critical component in the supporting of the body weight. There are three kinds of heels that you can get on boots. Plastic heel, wooden heel, and leather heel. Uh, the problem with the plastic heel is that plastic cold flows put a lot of pressure with this shank pressing down on that heel and the natural cold flow of the plastic allows the shank to start sinking down through the heel. In other words, you get very short-lived support out of the shank with a plastic heel. The wooden heel doesn't cold flow the way the plastic does but it's subject to rot and again eventually the shank will sink down through that heel. Uh, the leather heel doesn't rot, doesn't cold flow, so leather is the ideal material for the support of the shank.